Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. In this video, I will walk you through what is HTTPS and more importantly, what is SSL certificate. Now, this is not a regular video which just says, hey, HTTP means a secure communication between server and browser. It's way beyond that. And we're gonna discuss about what is HTTP, what is HTTPS, what is SSL, SSL certificate, how these certificates are generated, where you can find one certificate for your site, most importantly, how you can install one SSL certificate on your website and how you can verify that the installation was done decently okay or if there are any bugs, how you can resolve these issues and such things like that. So whole story short, this is one video which you are looking up for, for all the information that you are looking up on the web regarding SSL certificates, installation of that on your website and a tons of things. So let's get started. Now before we get started and talk about SSL, HTTPS and more importantly the installation of SSL, here is a quick sidebar. In case you did notice, we have moved now completely the Learn Code Online system on an HTTPS version of that. And we did it in two phases. First of all, the main website is uh, the learncodeonline.in and its blog was moved on HTTPS and now the entire site and all its subdomain are on HTTPS. So that's the good news and it's a good fun thing to have that. Sidebar over. Now let's talk about the HTTPS. Now you might have heard quite this term quite a lot HTTP and versus HTTPS. Now the reason why the HTTPS is there on some website and some website don't have is the hero of the story which is SSL certificate. Now we will talk about how we can get these SSL certificate and can upload those website but first let's talk about the hero of the story what is HTTPS. Now let's move on to the history lesson first. Now in the early days, a protocol was designed which was named as Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Nothing so much uh, mumbo jumbo here, just simply a way to communicate from browser to web server and that's your whole story, that's your HTTP. But eventually things become stronger in the hacking community and a lot of attacks came out around. And also the website got evolved and now a lot of information, valuable information was being passed via browser to the web server. And we needed something more secure because when your data is traveling in an HTTP protocol, it just travels in the clear text format. And a lot of researcher has done a lot of uh, papers on that using Wireshark and other interception tools by which they pick up your request, uh, which is going from a browser to web server. So our websites are getting advanced. We are passing credit card information, login information, and a whole bunch of sensitive data that needs to be encrypted and that needs to be secure. Here comes the story and here comes our hero which is HTTPS. HTTPS simply makes an encryption when the request is traveling from the browser to the web server so that if anybody picks up that information it's whole encrypted and looks like a mumbo jumbo. So picking up the information from that kind of mumbo jumbo is a little bit hard. So how does the HTTPS protocol work? Now HTTPS protocol works on either of the two things, the SSL which is secure socket layer or maybe TLS, the transport layer security. But both of these things actually use a PKI which is public key infrastructure. Now I know a lot of you are not aware of what is infrastructure and what is this public key, private key, encryption, a whole lot of things. Don't worry, you don't have to worry about anything for especially the SSL thing. You just have to think it like there is a, some way of encrypting the data and that's traveling around the web and the browser. Basically your web server and the browser and that's it. Now both of these two uh, protocols are amazingly awesome. You don't have to worry anything about that. Just onto a quick sidebar, the PKI which is public key infrastructure uh, uses two keys. One is public and one is private. So anything which is encrypted using public key can be decrypted by the private key and vice versa. I may be talking about these or maybe geeking about a lot of public key infrastructure and uh, these key system and everything. Maybe someday later on in this video, right now, you don't have to worry much about that. Just keep in mind that it's a secure channel that is between your browser and your uh, server. Now here's an important question. You see two different kinds of SSL certificates when you visit most of the websites. The one is the regular one and another one is the extended one. And this is the reason why when you visit a banking website, you see the whole uh, green bar turned with the name of that website, uh, like some xyz.bank.com. That is your extended certificate. 
while the regular one just simply uses a lock icon, pad icon, and that's it. Now, for most of the website, you don't need an extended certificate, but something like a banking system, obviously you need a little bit more security and a little bit more uh, extended version of SSL certificate. Okay, so you told that HTTPS means Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, so my website is completely secure from all the attacks. Nope, here's the wrong story because the word secure is so much misinterpreted that it doesn't tell the whole story. Now your website is uh, almost secure. I would not completely, I would not use completely secure because ultimately security is uh, evolving process. It's not uh, lay out a hard rule. Coming back onto the topic, the S simply means in HTTPS that your channel, your communication between the web server and your browser is now encrypted or I can deliberately say here that it's secure. But what about the other attacks? The attacks like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, CSRF, and a whole bunch of other things are still accessible and can be performed on any website. So for those kinds of attacks, you have to prevent, uh, you have to use other kinds of preventary measures. So yes, it's a one step forward in moving into the security or the securing of your website, but it doesn't mean the website is fully secured. Yes, it's a good to have, but don't just rely on that, hey, I'm gonna have an HTTPS and that's it. No, it's the wrong thing. Does everybody need an SSL certificate or should everybody move their website on HTTPS? Now, there is no such yes and no for this question, but yes, I can talk. Yeah, I can talk you through with a little bit detailed explanation of that. Now, for the regular websites, which I like to call them as brochure websites, simply website having uh, my name, my work experience or contact information and that's it. Uh, these are just display websites and brochure website. These websites really don't need an SSL certificate, but if you'll have that, it won't hurt you. It will just give you a little bit more secure connections and things like that. But let's talk about the cost that it costs you uh, for having an SSL certificate. First and foremost thing, in order to have an SSL certificate, you need to have a dedicated IP. And yes, last time I checked, dedicated IP are not so cheap to have. So make sure you first put out a budget that what's gonna be uh, the cost of having an SSL certificate. Uh, so make sure you keep an eye on the dedicated IP note here. Now, also let me tell you a really important fact that not all the hosting uh, services that you have taken are capable of installing an SSL certificate. Probably you might have taken some hosting from GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or wherever you are doing, this is not a paid video. So wherever you have uh, taken your hosting, uh, first make sure you ask your hosting provider that uh, for this of my plan, because there are a lot of other plans, for this of my plan, is SSL certificate uh, is possible to install that one? That's the number one good question. Now I have seen in the recent years that the plan which comes up with unlimited uh, parking of the domains, there are a lot of plans like that where you can have a hosting and park unlimited domains over there, are capable of hosting uh, an SSL certificate. So first and foremost, do check out with your hosting provider that can I install an SSL certificate with my existing hosting plan? Now I can understand hosting a dedicated IP is, is kind of expensive thing and not everybody can afford that. So let me walk you through with the process uh, that you can follow up. Now I'm not saying it's 100% secure, nothing is 100% secure, but it's an alternative way uh, with maximum security that you can have. So let's clear this thing here that you don't have a brochure website and a lot of payments are happening on your website. So let me walk you through uh, because I can understand you are thinking uh, that I cannot have a dedicated IP or cannot afford that kind of expenses right now. So here's the solution. Now there are a lot of payment uh, service uh, that can uh, provide you an API to integrate in your website. Now what you can do is you can have your website on a non-secure channel which is just an HTTP and whenever there is a payment uh, that you have to take just redirect the user totally on that payment gateway service. Now obviously that payment gateway service is kind of a mandatory to have an HTTPS and you can do all the payments and transfers there. And once uh, everything is done there, they generate you a token. You can use that token via API and can find out whether that uh, payment was done successfully and not, and a lot of tons of information comes up with that. Uh, so that's one way of handling the situation and keeping your budget a little bit under comfortable zone. Uh, but eventually, if a lot of transactions are going on on your website, that means your business is getting in the profit it's a good idea to have an HTTPS or basically an SSL certificate.
So from where I can get these SSL certificates? Now, there are a lot of websites which can provide you SSL certificate and basically it's a encryption mechanism from browser to web server and a trust between uh, the user and your website saying that, hey, whatever the website you are looking up for is trustworthy and like that. So there are a lot of hosting providers that can give you SSL certificate. Probably I'll make a video on that for a separate list comparing them with each other. Uh, but a common name that you might have seen are GeoTrust, Komodo, GoDaddy, and Taute, Taite, Taute, Taute, how, how you say that, it's up to you. So these are a couple of common providers of SSL certificate uh, from where you can get an SSL certificate. Now, sometimes it does cost a lot. Sometimes it's reasonable and affordable. Depends how much you want to spend on it. It's up to you. Now, the beast question, how you can install an SSL certificate on your website? Now, installation of the SSL certificate is not the easiest one. and It does require you to follow a lot of steps. Now, luckily for you, I have crafted a PDF that involves all the steps for an SSL certificate. Uh, it's really super easy and it all follow after when you have purchased the SSL certificate. Now, I would like to point here again and again and again, I cannot stress that enough that make sure you ask your hosting provider that in your current plan, SSL certificate is possible or not. Now, once you have got a green that, hey, go ahead and install an SSL certificate, follow up these 14 pages PDF. Don't worry, it's not very long. Since I've included a lot of screenshot, uh, that's why the PDF is so long. So I'll link a blog here. I have just written a blog about that. So download that PDF, it's totally free and follow all these 14 steps uh, to install an SSL certificate on your website. And I think anybody with a decent technical skills can perform that. But in case you are messing around that, hey, I'm not able to install that and anything, uh, always feel free to call up your uh, hosting provider. They are really happy to help in that particular situation. So that's basically your whole story. Download this PDF and uh, take a look on all these steps. But again, dedicated IP is must or check out with your hosting provider. Is SSL possible on your hosting or not? As I told you, installing an SSL certificate is not the easiest one. It's fairly easy, but not the easiest one. So once you have done all the installation of the thing, I would highly recommend to check out this link, which is SSL Shopper. No, I'm not providing you to sell anything on this or affiliate anything. Uh, there is This link will help you to uh, evaluate the, whether the installation has gone right or not. Uh, this is an amazing link to check out whether the SSL are working fine or not. This is amazing uh, link here. Again, uh, make sure that you give it a little bit time as well because the updation of the DNS and the, the SSL thing uh, usually take a little bit while depending on what kind of hosting provider you are using. Sometimes just a couple of hours, sometimes just a couple of minutes, sometimes almost 24 hours. So it's a long window, but what we can do, we have to wait. Woo, that was a long video, but it was fully packed, jam-packed with a lot of information about SSL, HTTP, public key information, and a lot like that. So in case you want to read all of that information, I'll link down a blog, which I've just written about the same topic. And also, if you want to check out our regular all these such blogs, visit learncodeonline.in. Uh, we publish blog almost every single day, full packed with information. Go ahead, check that out. It's amazing there. And in case you are new here, do consider subscribing. This is a total programming channel. We geek out a lot of stuff on this channel uh, regarding mobile apps, web apps, programming, SSL certificate, HTTPS, and tons of such things like that. So join up the community of this amazing channel. We are now 50,000. Uh, this is a good number. So join the community of 50,000 people uh, all geeking out about programming and uh, that's all about it. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and I'll surely catch Take you up everything in the next we got, video. Give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire